Good evening, everybody, and welcome. It's Gord Eisman here, and I have a fantastic guest tonight, and I'm really excited to share with you to learn some really cool stuff about how to use uh, Zoom with OBS and YouTube. And I have a very funny story to tell you about how I met this gentleman. His name is Michael Jan Daniels, and um, welcome, Michael. How are you this evening? I'm great. <laughs> how are you? I'm, I'm awesome. Oh, look, we got some people here already. There's Arthur and Pam. Welcome, everybody. And um, sure. the really cool story I wanted to start out with tonight was uh, to tell you about um, how I ended up meeting Michael. When we had the YouTube Partner Program changes come on in January, and I decided I was going to do a special challenge and raise the bar with my um, content production and going live more often on one of my first live streams I went live with Eileen Smith and I was using the technology we're using this evening which was um, OBS with zoom and uh, going live on YouTube and I couldn't get the audio to come out properly for me so I was blabbering away and everyone could hear Eileen and I'm, <laughs> I'm like you know not realizing this for a while then when I'm told I, I'm, I'm like all in panic mode had a bit of a you know a minor meltdown but as I'm there there's people in the crowd that were in Eileen's community like Michael that are saying like hey I can help you and and I'm going well that's great what am I going to do right now because <laughs> I was in like <laughs> just a state of no, of of no return kind of thing so I learned the, the hard way about having to you know make sure I have things fully tested before going live so the beauty is though after that show like you know first off Eileen saved the day um, because we went to Google Hangouts as a backup which Mike Michael you're very familiar with and the, the yeah, trustworthiness of of all of that and mm -hmm. um so I you then followed up to me and, and offered your help and you were so kind and I learned a lot from you and got very inspired and that's why now I have these really cool looking um, OBS environments around Zoom when I do these interviews and, and go live. And what I, I'd like to, to um, first, you know, start before we, we take a dive in is for to, to help people know a little bit about how did you get your bug for doing live streaming, how long ago was it, and and what did you do to to, to get going? Yeah, wow, that was a lot, <laughs> and that's so true. You know, a lot of times it's funny. Uh, and thank you very much, by the way, Gord. I really do appreciate it too, because I appreciate you saying yes. Because I anybody that knows me knows that I love to help people. So I just want to preface it with that. I really do like to enjoy helping people and trying to get people to be successful with this live stream. this live stream is just incredible. How it all started for me was I actually, there's a group called the hangout helpers mm -hmm. and the hangout helper was Ronnie Benter. If you go look him up, you'll find him now, but that's how a lot of our community met and talked and, and just started socializing. And we found out with Google plus Google. And those of you that don't know what Google plus is Google plus is like, a Facebook for Google. I mean, that's basically what it is. It's really kind of cool. I showed Gord a little bit about that and I'll probably have a video out about that pretty soon too anyway, but anyway, on to another subject, um, stay on subject here. Um, so I started using hangouts and we started doing this video calling and stuff. And this is really cool. So then we started doing some live streaming and we learned about live streaming and doing these cool live things. And we thought, man, this is really neat. And then, so we started playing games. And so I started a game show and I immediately went and got Manny Cam so I could bring in some cool stuff, bring in the scores and started playing games. I mean, it's, it's very, very rudimentary, the very first ones. Mm -hmm. And it's real choppy and it's all kinds of stuff. So so what happened was, is we, I started getting into this and just started falling in love with it. And probably about, I would say, I think I told you about six months. It's actually about six or nine months ago yep. that I actually found Zoom. So I knew about Zoom for a long time. I'd tried a peer dot in. I've tried all kinds of different things, just different things. But Zoom was just the quality of the video was just so super that that's kind of where I went and found this route. And then I saw where uh, a lot of gamers were using OBS. Yes. And OBS, OBS being free, I said, hey, I'm going to take advantage of this. So so I kind of put the two to two together. And that's how it all kind of came, came to fruition as far as that goes. Yeah. So I, I find it interesting. I mean, 
obviously when tools are free and they're they're managed through open source development like open broadcaster software is um you know it has a mass appeal and and they keep enhancing the product and i was really impressed with how much you could actually do with it when i you know got into to seeing some of the you know the nuts and bolts that you got into but the beauty is is that you combine obs with other softwares like you can take things you know, like video feeds, audio feeds, you can take mix and match sources and do all kinds of really cool stuff. But you chose to um, dive in deep with Zoom. And, and what did that do to your to your game show that that um, it was you weren't able to do before? Because before Zoom, you were using Manicam and other things. But why did you want to why did you want to go there and start to do more? So uh, that's a great question too. And the whole reason I can, uh, the biggest reason, let me just say the biggest reason I could do hangouts. Hangouts gave you like little thumbnails down there, but they were like little squares and it was hard to get that video to show up properly to bring in different guests and panelists and things like that. Anytime I was trying to do stuff like that. So when I found zoom mm -hmm. and it was 1080p from each different one and it was just such a better image i just said you know what this is fantastic this is th this is the way i want to go and zoom gave that to me yeah zoom was and, and and after trying all kinds of things like skype zoom people use mm -hmm. things like go to webinar and um you know i just find like, i'm totally impressed by the picture quality of zoom and if mm -hmm. i understand correctly they have a special technology whereby it's not based on the lowest de common denominator. It's actually based on whatever the quality is in your your scenario as an individual participating in in the meeting or webinar. That's the quality mm -hmm. that will come forth. So there's no handicap and and whatever um, the best product that you can produce in terms of what comes out from from your feed is what people get. So this and 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 I just find Zoom to be so reliable and not to mention. We're right now, you know, in the interview uh, status of working with just two people. It's free, which is just yeah. to without time limitation. It's just yeah. it's just incredible, and I, I'm totally grateful. It's like having access to YouTube Live and it being free is uh, YouTube, and 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 it's like, oh my God, we have these incredible platforms to do cool things. Like in this case, I get to do a cool interview with uh, Michael, who's in <laughs> North Carolina, South Carolina, South, South Carolina. Carolina. Sorry. Sorry about Sorry. that. <laughs> so I think I think I think it's really cool. So you you know, by the way, everybody, in in, in a short bit, you're gonna see some some little clips or pieces, and and Michael's gonna show you his environments that he's built, and, and we're gonna talk about how those elements sort of come together. The purpose of what we're doing tonight is not to dive into the technicals of making the things. We're gonna be doing some of that later because I really want you to get a feel and an appreciation for the amazing stuff that he's doing and be able to think about the possibilities of using something like zoom with obs and youtube and to apply potentially for yourself or for some other future creative uh opportunity and you're going to really see some cool things i see we got a few more people to join us there uh, obviously there's uh self-publishing with dale roberts he's here doug hewson pam awesome. and uh foul fish and and qyt the gamer welcome everybody and uh we awesome. had arthur before i saw and and uh and a few others and so that's great. And Selena plays. Thank you all for for joining. And and now we're gonna you know start to look a, a little more closely. I just am trying to iron out sort of you know the whys for um, Zoom. Now you've also looked at other 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 software because I know you use with your Zoom and OBS. You also use Stream Deck because what you're doing to produce is so sophisticated. I can't imagine doing it without something like Stream Deck. But you looked at other software. And so I'm curious to know how you ended up here and tell us about a few of the other options just so people can appreciate them. Yeah, I will. Okay. So, so one thing is, is that, that a couple of things that you touched on it. I want to, I want to also bring in sure. too. Um, on when I first started, I used Manicam and I didn't have that strong of a computer. I recently got almost a gamer computer. I mean, it, you have to get it. It has to be a high tech last one to do a lot of this streaming stuff to make it really worthwhile and windows 10 etc and all that kind of stuff and what zoom gives you because zoom is downloaded to your mm -hmm. computer it 
think that gives you a lot better thing. Whereas like a peer dot in and Skype, right. all these we we're talking about, those are used on the internet. I mean, Skype's not, I think Skype's downloaded too, but I mean, so, so I think that being downloaded is a huge thing and a huge asset to why zoom does so well too, because it's not counting on anything else to work with it. Now, right. So they're more robust. It's a non-browser app, just like OBS is. So the, the, their, their capabilities to program sophisticated cap things in. Exactly. And with that also comes more know-how. And, you know, I, I also wanted people to know that, you know, OBS isn't for everybody and we're not saying that, but we're tonight sure. wanting to show you that, how, that you know, you're going to see how Michael produced something truly amazing and what the potential mm -hmm. is. And, uh, you know, some people will need some of those um, more integrated, a little, maybe I'll call it easier to use to produce some of the things you can do in OBS, but those are mostly pay services and, and you know, it's different strokes for different folks. That's right. We're just right. going to be able to show you a little bit tonight of a of, of really interesting way of using uh, the, yeah. the technology like Michael's using. Okay, so yeah, I interrupted you. You were just uh, no, 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 you're okay. You're all right. Listen, man, this this is supposed to be a conversation. This isn't sitting here. You know what I'm saying? This is the way it's supposed to go. Yeah. So talking. So what about um? So in doing the game show, you're also looking at doing, or are you doing um um multicasting now? Like I think you told me that you were looking into things like Twitch and other stuff. Is that something else you're going to be doing? Absolutely, yes. And so. I wanted to ponder Twitch because it's so, it's so toward gaming and I do a game show. So it right. has the word game in it. So I wanted to go that route. So the last two weeks I've actually gone to Twitch mm -hmm. and I, I, I've, I use Restream to cast to Twitch as well as to YouTube at the same time. And I had a couple people over there watching on Twitch just to see what that was like as well as have this other. And I tell you what, everybody gave rave reviews, said it was awesome. So it's about, it's about getting that word out out there and trying it in both places. I want to try it in both places just to see. I mean, because that's what – and it also helps us, you know, you and yeah. I, yeah. you know, for – we're building and, and people that are on Twitch, we can help them with these same things. We could, you know, we could set up scene collections and yeah. help them with that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? If they if they want to reach out to us, we could do that kind of thing, right? I mean, yeah. And I should mention, like, um, uh, Dale Roberts here is mentioning that his brother uses Restream. His brother got Dale involved also in Twitch and he uses it a lot and and there's mm -hmm. some really cool stuff I've been on a couple of game shows that they they play uh, out there I forget exactly what it is but it was almost like I was lost because of the sophistication I was just an observer <laughs> but I I can see now like it, it just opens up so many interesting possibilities where I never thought about entertainment value coming from these platforms that it's there in a whole new way to explore and that's what you opened my eyes to and I wanted to say like like everybody you know I'm just going to click around Michael while we're here to show th what we're sitting in with my environment here with the nice blue my little ticker tape running my branding is is all in what's in OBS is called a collection so whether we're in this the picture here you see that was uh the front when we came in or me solo here waving to you all or me with Michael now with him there or we uh, you, you can see there's so many different scenes that you, you you know the creativity is up to you and here we are with the chat sharing with everybody and um, you know there's just so much you can do and you're, you're not restricted and and um, it's it, it's it's very it's just very cool and now what I'd like to do um, uh, Michael is is f for you to share your screen and now everybody we're going to look at at a few examples of michael's game show and, and and he also hosts another show you do two live streams a week isn't that right that is correct i do the h m show as well as and there's new news with that too coming this we're going to go over our show this week is twitch but we're kind of changing the concept a little bit not the concept but more of the name and stuff so be sure and tune in this wednesday if you guys will just go to my and I'm going to show you how to go to my YouTube channel at the end yeah. and all that, so we can see. All okay, that. very cool. So, so, so I see Doug, Doug's Doug's here with us, and and I I noticed he was here before. But watch Doug, look at look at um, some of the really cool stuff Michael's going to do. So Michael, I'm going to um, I guess I need to go to my full screen here. When you're ready, are you ready for me to switch over for you to take I the share? Ready. I am ready right now. Whenever. Okay, you... so you can you can uh, you can go there. All right, I'm there. So hopefully okay. that's yep. Yeah. So um, maybe if um, 
Uh, first thing, let me show you. Wait, this I'm is, just going to get a confirmation. Okay. Can everybody see that we have another screen up now? Uh, I see, see Rod it. Rodney's joined us. Okay, that's great. Nice to see you, Rodney. Um, and okay, so Michael uh, is going yeah. to walk us through. Actually, it's a couple of video clips, and he's going to go and show you the a lot of the cool and interesting sort of transition features in his collections that he's built to execute his um, show. And so, first, tell us what the show is, the premise, so people can appreciate what it is you're sharing with them, Michael. Okay, so Plus Word is a game show. It's a game show based on the old TV show Password. So I did a, an intro and designed this whole thing and uh, came up with all these different things and having the participants where they pass a word and all that kind of stuff. So that's what the game show one is. And then I also do a tech talk that I do on Wednesdays where I invite like top contributors, Google top contributors like myself. And, uh, and I'm a hangout top contributor. That's how I know a lot about hangouts and stuff. So anyway, that's the two shows that I do. And I'm going to show you some of these things. So like, okay. This and one, as we go through, sorry to interrupt, Michael, I'm going to ask yeah, you to sort of pause after you show each sort of little element, you can run it for, for a few seconds or whatever. And then just to give people an appreciation of what goes into what you're doing. Okay. So this one right here, this is a recorded video that I did that I play at the very beginning to introduce and get the plus word kicked off and everything. So this is one that I did. This is to show you intros. These are some of the kind of things that you can do for intros. This is the intro to plus word. What's cool about this too, because I'm going to go back and forth and I'll show you real quick. Like this one, when we start the H&M show, I start about 12 minutes ahead of time. Yeah. But you can see at the top, it says starting in seven minutes and right, whatever. Right, so you have a time ticker there. Exactly. And that's like an overlay and you have, um, these are vid these would be video clips now, right? Like that we're looking at with the H&M show, that kind of exactly. stuff in the background and for plus words. So again, these are just yeah, some of the elements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have music as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. so okay. I, just, I just throw these back and forth. So you can see there's the plus word, there's the... I'm going, like I said, I'm going back and forth. So you'll see that where I have that one and have all the guests that have ever been on there. I have them. So pop they're, they're, out. these are like MP4 clips, right? That you've added yeah. in. Okay. Yep, exactly. That's it. Yep. Okay. So, so now that, um, yeah. So everybody appreciate, you know, Michael's trying to show, it's a sh show you to appreciate that he's producing a show and there's, there's, there's people that he credits for music and other things and, and that mm -hmm. I'm, people participate. So it's really like a nice little production. And uh, yeah, okay. So um, can we see this some is, more yeah. goodies now in uh, in <laughs> plus word? I'm all excited. Well, hang on. Let me just show you real okay. quick that you can do credits at the end too, because uh, you mentioned credits. So I wanted to make sure and say that at the end, I can credit who was on the show. I can have this rolling credit. And one thing that I learned, and these are the little tricks and the little intricacies. I know we said we weren't going to get into details, but these are the cool things. If you, I found out that when you turn your video off like that, it, cu it cuts off. So you miss right. a little bit. So I try to have this rolling so I don't lose that. <laughs> but so anyway. are these credits, uh, is this o o OB OBS uh, or is that part of your MP4? This is, this is a, this is all OBS. I just all have OBS. An okay. Yeah. And okay. I have this. So this is part of like a scrolling text feature. Yep. Yep. Okay. So the next thing you had mentioned on here is is about Stinger. So I wanted to show you, this is on my H&M show with a Stinger. When we get ready to go to chat on this particular one, you're going to see this was an interview I was doing or one of one of our H&M shows. Right. And I bring in chat and you can see, boom, there comes the yeah. Stinger. So, okay, pa so pause that there now. So what we just yeah. saw there was like a transparent MO, MO, MOV file or was it a logo that you did that went through a fancy transition? I think it was, a, I think that one was an MOV file, if I'm not mistaken. Right. So you can bring in transparent MOV files that, mm -hmm. that you get created or bought or, you know, however way you get them. And um, so, you know, this is almost like I'm, I'm using a, a video editor. It's, I mean, yeah. the abilities and capabilities of layering in something like a video editor, you can do in essence in, in OBS in the way it's structured, right? Mm -hmm. absolutely yes absolutely so that's a cool thing and we and you and i talked about this like with nick nimmons his really cool one that he has with the two buddy uh, yeah nick nick's done some very cool stuff with some stingers and things but we yeah. we had that one to, to show today and and you know um you know this is our first video on that on on showing things it's today again to show people about possibilities okay yeah. so um 
All right. So what what's next there, Michael? Next one. All right. This okay. one is so cool. This one I had a lot of fun doing. This is this is just like Gord does his chat. I do the same thing in the game show because they've given all their answers and you get a chance to see all those answers. But what I did, because I use Zoom and OBS, I can throw everybody's little image into a little square just to make it a little different, just to show a little difference in how you can bring that up. And, and I think that is, is so cool because hey, you're showing the logo of the game there in the middle, one of the versions mm -hmm. of your logo for the branding. You got all, mm -hmm. all the people in like an interesting structural presentation in the chat going. And that was just your own creativity to create that. And, and, you, and, and, and what's so cool is here, this is everybody on at once, right? Mm -hmm. And then yeah, exactly. what you do that's so cool is because you keep the flow and interest in the game going by changing the, the scenes up in a variety of ways so yeah you know continue and, and show us show us uh absolutely that yeah. is correct okay so here is for example this this is where this is what's so cool okay so i'm gonna have this one going and, and you can see in the game show we have a timer you yeah. can see that five videos in there right behind a logo with that same branding you just saw yeah i have password going between the two images i have that shown on there Okay, so, so let me ask you a few questions here before you finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you are on there. You're green screened on top of an image, or or is is that uh, is that that's right? Correct. That's right. Mm -hmm, that's so correct. you're you're even green screened, and that's done live and possible. Are you using that feature from inside Zoom or inside OBS? Oh, this is really cool. Yes, OBS. So, OBS, yeah. So mm -hmm. and and now you've switched up again. Right. So, so I, now exactly. So, so now it just transitioned over to the other. So it's, I, I, so it alternates each time. And then if you look up there, that score that I'm I'm actually doing that score on an Excel spreadsheet that is is brought in by OBS. Just that section of that spreadsheet. So it looks like it's a, a little panel up there doing the score. <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. So you're not you're not restricted. So so the spreadsheet is just another application on your desktop. Now see everyone pause again, Mike, Michael, if you can. Yeah, I so, sure So I don't know if people are noticing, but you, you're you changing up, you're swapping when you switch to a different team, having, you know, using the bottom right and top left and then top left and bottom right and moving the scoreboard around and the timer and yourself. I mean, like there's so much going on sure. here. You are using another piece of of uh, uh, secret sauce here, and that's the Elgato Stream Deck, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It so is, you have yeah. to divulge a few secrets here. So can you can you share with us, like you know, I mean, even if I you actually, want to replay a couple I of these things to tell image. us. Sure. I actually have an image of the Stream Deck. This is oh, my okay, cool. Stream Deck. This is my Stream Deck. So if you look right here down at the bottom one, this is the five folks. It's actually, it used to be five folks. And now it's seven folks or whatever that are right. inside. So this is how I just click this button right here and it shows everybody. If I click this button, this shows right. team one, one that you saw with team one. So for example, if, if I look at this example that we started out with, yeah, this, I learn at the head of the game, like this is team one. Right. Okay. And if I need to go to team two, I have right here, team two, right? Team three. So I have the three teams. So I just switch back and forth between them while I'm entering the score on a spreadsheet with my right hand, but my left hand is tied up with this. And then if somebody gets something right and we yeah. get applause, I actually have applause and it goes to the seven screens when there's applause as well. So this Okay. One so might, it also triggers sound effects as well, right? Yes. Yes. So, yeah. so you're, you're integrating, you know, like there are so many elements you're integrating and are compounding <laughs> with the stream deck combined with OBS. Okay. And That's then right. I, I just love the way this fades and transitions to do that fade the way it in, went in from one into the, into the other. Is that a mm -hmm. transition effect in zoom? Um, it's, or, it's or is it some, sorry, in OBS? Yes. Yes. It is an OBS. Yes. But I also do like during the game show, I'll have a one word clue or a bonus round and I have those bumpers come in. Can you show us kind of, that? Can you show us that? Yeah, let's, let's see if I can. I got to see where, where I went into. Uh, um, uh, I have to go find that. That's one I didn't have set aside. So let me find one real quick. But I think I have one where I have a one word clue. There it is. Okay, it's like right here, I think. So, yeah. So if I have this before I give it to him, so here's the one where I'm showing all of the six contestants sitting there, which is really kind of cool. 
Yeah, so that, if we can pause there before you leave. Mm -hmm. So another yeah. cool thing is, see, you have a nice bracket. It's an overlay. That would be just an image, a PNG type file inside OBS. And then those, you'd, you'd have like the full frame set of um, what all the images Zoom brings as a, what I call <laughs> it, a, a grid view, right? Grid view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's all there. And, and, you know, so there's a lot of, of tricks that you've learned to manage this. Um, Absolutely. Andrew, Andrew yes, says here yes, right. that, yeah. that you need another two hands, Michael. Do you feel that way sometimes? <laughs> it might help. Yes, it might help. Yeah. So anyway, I've built this bumper, one word clue, two word answers, and you hear my voice and then it transitions right into everybody. Oh, so nice. Right everybody. So there's another effect that you did. Yeah. Yep. And then we go right into the two people that get it first and get to give the clues and everything else. So it's really kind of neat. And then, yeah, and so I, I love I, the way you've integrated a, the moving background. It's a very subtle addition to the experience. And I just, I just really love the way the flow flow happens. So and, true. And, true. and so what do you yeah. do when, what is, I see you have a comments button there. Yes, comments is the one where it takes you to that comment screen that you saw with the six people all individual and then the comments there. So I just hit that button and it takes me right to the comments. And then I have two mute buttons. I can mute me and I can mute the guests. So all these buttons are right at my finger. So my left hand, my left hand is working that the whole time. You know, when I go from one scene to the next to the next and if somebody gets it right, I just hit clap and I go reset my score. I'm doing so much stuff behind the scenes while I just let that window come up. Then you guys are, you know, they're all talking about it. Gives them time to talk. It's really kind of cool. It's really kind of neat the way that works out. Okay. So, um, do, um, so do you have everything is this is one layer. You don't nest any layers here in, in doing more stuff. You got it all in the one layer. Is that it? As far as what do you mean, like uh, yeah, hitting... everything's here on the stream deck on the like you yes. like you have the ability to do layers like uh, yeah, there, no, I don't do any. There, the other thing that I have is no anything else that I would do on OBS would be like to click a scene by itself. But every, but okay. these are the ones I use you know where I during game in the game and that kind of thing. So yeah, that's a okay. good question. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so all right, you can let, let some of the stuff play for people to just observe while we're talking here, if that's okay. No, yeah, that's, no, that's absolutely. not a bad idea. Um, so, how? Like, I, I just want to know, like, even with the stream deck, I, I see you have like so many things to keep track of. Plus, you need to communicate with the people to keep the flow going. I mean, like, how how difficult is is that to to like just juggle all of those pieces? Can, can you yeah. well let me, let me put it to you this way before i got stream deck and i'm going to thank andrew hatchett because he bought that for me for christmas andrew and i are good friends so <laughs> yeah i think I, uh, I saw andrew here in the in the chat yeah. as well so i just want to thank him personally out here in the public because he did buy he did buy that for me for christmas and i tell you what it's a gift that i tell you what i use it every single stream now because i'll just set up when i set up my obs I set up each scene over here so I have a way to mute or whatever with my left hand. I just do that. Yeah. So here's here's the process. This is pretty tricky. I have I take I I have to enter a score. Yeah. What I as I I at a point, I start the timer, I click on the scene uh whoever's starting. Right. And if they get it wrong, I have to go to the next person reset the score to like however many points and i do that and i'm doing all of this <laughs> as it goes and then once they get it correct i have to stop the timer reset right. go back over, go back over enter in the actual score if they got seven points five points whatever enter that in under the team name so i'm doing all this behind the scene yeah so Somebody told me I need to Instagram this. Just the just the behind the scenes. Yeah, that would be cool. That would definitely be cool. I mean, I just think it's it's so awesome what you're doing. I love Scott's comment here. He says, "All this is so amazing. Equivalent, actually, better than a million dollar studio from the '80s and '90s." So hey, I mean, know, like I said, was... yeah, you're doing this as a one man show. Oh, that was a cool side side transition there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what's interesting? Here's what's interesting. It's funny you mentioned that, uh, Gord, because I wanted I wanted to say, say this too. I meant to say this earlier. Mm -hmm. Imagine watching anybody can go watch an interview on TV. Yeah. They don't get the engagement. They don't get to react to it. You can go watch a game show on TV plus word, whatever but you don't get that engagement that you get from the audience. 
Mm-hmm. You don't get that participation. You don't get that engagement. Just like doing these li- live to me, here's an opportunity for you. When you were yelling at that TV, I know that answer. Da, da, da. Now you can give it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th- actually, you can you can line up where you should where you actually do that Absolutely. in the show where mm-hmm. where you actually after you solve this. Everybody, listen. This is really cool because it's a it's an element of engagement. While mm-hmm. the the contestants on the show are 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 trying to get the answers based on the clues they receive, the audience is keying them into chat, and and the contestants don't see them, but when they finish, they 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 review the chat. And, mm-hmm. and share the different interesting answers that people got and see who got them first and, and things like that. So exactly. you're actually acknowledged and participating in the whole experience, which exactly. I think really was really cool. Cause like, I remember when I, when I, when I came on a, a few of them in the beginning there at first, it was kind of cool to, to be able to get the answer, you know, in a reasonable <laughs> length of time, <laughs> you know, what, 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 what would, yeah. And I guess you can't look till after, because if one of us got it before you, before the contestants, that's, that would that's ruin right. things. <laughs> that's right. the, the contestants come on and they're very honest and I appreciate them being honest in that way. So yes, because they could cheat for sure. They could get yeah. answers from the audience. But the other thing that's too, engagement's important to me. And I found that out a long time ago when we, when we did hangouts, when we used to do live hangouts and on YouTube and stuff like that, you know, without the people out there participating and them being a part of it, it's so, people love to have recognition. They love to be, uh, you know, put on a pedestal, so to speak. You know, if you yeah. recognize your comment, you recognize the things that they're doing. Yeah. I think that's important. I think I, that's I, and I like what 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 uh Andrew just mentioned here. He says Michael is a perpetual motion machine during the show. And I totally agree. Cause I sit there and I wonder, oh my God, like how does this guy hold it all together? And <laughs> and <laughs> it's quite amazing. In fact, if I recall once you guys did a video clip you do something in your after show and you did something and it's a spontaneous thing. Uh, where I you just go it, through the words it. and uh, was it all the words and you use them? Uh, every word from that yeah. night that we used, yeah. I turn into a story. I make a story from that. Yeah. So I do that in the after party. That's what we usually do. We sit there and I go through that whole thing and I go through yeah. so, the whole so story. I think this is a great thing to share with everybody, uh, Michael. Like, I, I don't know if people know this, but you also you run a community um, where and and uh, the is the after party for um, is it that's it's, for anyone on the game show on the game show, the game show anyone yeah for the game show that's anybody because that's public and whatever a, the the H and M show that we do that is for our guest which you've been, thank you very much for being on the show as well. You've been a guest on there. And then the after parties for those community members, as far as that goes. Yes. So um, I'm switching back, Michael, to, uh, okay, there we go. See, I was out of sync. I'm learning. Let's go back to, to, to chatting one-on-one. Is that okay? So you have to stop sharing? Yeah, no problem. Let me quit. Let me quit. Absolutely. I'm sorry. Okay, there yep. we go. Yep, I'm sorry. My there bad. we are. We're back. So yeah I mean, first of all thank you so much for sharing all of those cool things and uh, i was just going to show for people just a couple of quick scenes um in my collection to, to produce what what we're doing here so they can appreciate for those that don't know about uh what we're talking about in terms of what's under under the covers and i was just gonna um share like one or two pictures and i'm just going to do that now before we continue our conversation so I'm going to just uh, bring uh, one of those up on screen here. Um, let me uh, get that while we're talking. And uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, uh, yeah I love. It. Hey, hey, everybody that's okay. out there. I know I haven't really said much out there because I was trying to focus on my screen shares. But I want to say thank you for coming. Anybody that ever wants to play on the game show, just reach out to me. I'm going to show at the end how to reach out to me the best way, and I'll show you how to do that at the at the very end. But okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, cool. So, so for example, now I want to show um, some pictures that I have. So I've stored these on Google Drive, and I've opened them up, and I'm just going to switch to the 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 what's called the scene where those are. So here we go. And uh, now you can see in this collection, you're actually seeing Michael and I are still both on screen in the corners on the bottom. So we're here participating in the top. And what I want people to see here is, you know, we're inside OBS. And as you can see, this is 
you know part of the structure of what we're using here tonight and and uh you know on the left hand side there's michael in the top he's a, uh, he's a a feed from the, that image there is a feed from zoom and so am i so we just took two different pieces of the screen in zoom and when he's running the game show if there was, was six people there he's actually taking snippets out of out of the structure or the gallery the grid they call it and and mm -hmm. putting those together in a way that's creative and inspirational for sharing and for engagement but what we're looking at here is just like one um one uh scene See in yeah, the what? collection so for each sh show that he does or for me in my case for each guest that i have because i customize things i i create a collection unique for that so uh, on the on the left side here are, are is a list of scenes and we're in one of those scenes right now and i'm just showing you a few of the components that go into making that up so there's this, mm -hmm. the few feeds which are like a, what are called a window capture then we have the chat rule which was taken from youtube which was you know searched out on the browser with the url for our show tonight and i popped out the chat window and that now is a source that i put on the screen to occupy the space and then i have a moving ticker sort of advertising my brand and sort of where to find me and there's also well, something similar uh for michael so i'm just trying to show you that um the purpose of tonight wasn't to dive deep into here but just to show you that you have a lot of power to do things and a power well, that's created that's right let me interrupt for just a second because sure. if you look you have you have 12 sources <laughs> you have 12 sources just for that one thing and that's what's so incredible and cool and powerful about what this gives if you look at my original game shows mm -hmm. i just have whoever's up there i just have one person whoever right. came up on the screen that's it i didn't have any embellishments i didn't have any of that kind of stuff and then I tried to bring in like, cause I didn't have zoom back then. So this is what's so cool about what OBS gives you on the live streaming end. That is just so powerful. I remember sitting with you yeah. after, after that show with Eileen and you and I sat down, I said, Lord, no, no, no. Let's make this the same color as your logo. Oh no, no. Let's make this run up under your logo. Oh no, let's make this. So, okay. Your guess is going to be larger and then you're going to, you know, whatever. We just went through that whole, we put the whole thought process through that whole thing. I yeah, what, what, what I liked was your knowledge is at such a level that we could just say, okay, I want to achieve this. And right away, spontaneously, we were able to go and do whatever it is we wanted to do. And in fact, you know, because Michael also loves to teach, you know, and, you know, be great to hear input from people. We've talked about like it would be cool that we do some additional collab videos and go di deep dive and maybe yeah. even uh, do some course type information for people. And mm -hmm. if anybody has a curiosity or, or that might interest them to take things to, to, te to teach them and to learn. Um, you know, please share with us um, in the comments below the video, whether it's on replay or live, you know, please share your thoughts and tell us what you'd like to see. You know, um, you know, we're just using Zoom tonight as a feed because, you know, we, we love the quality of it. And, and uh, you know, um, we should qualify, Michael, that um, in what we're doing doesn't cost anything because there's just two of us in the feed, right? But, correct. That's correct. but we need a certain license level in order to accommodate six people. Once we go more than two, Zoom, if you, I, th I think if you're more than two, you can get up to 40 minutes free time. But, you know, if you're going to do something like a show like you're producing and much longer period of time mm -hmm. on with the people. So do you want to just explain to people how that licensing works that from your, from your knowledge? Yeah, what what I've done is I paid for a it's fifteen dollars a month. I paid for an annual fee, so it's it's actually less when you pay it a year at a time. And it's to me that's very reasonable because I use it every every week, <laughs> twice a week. So if I want to bring in extra guests and things like that, I don't have to worry about it. And I use it for work as well with meetings and things like that. So I use it for work purposes. You know, I do have a real job. A lot of people <laughs> don't realize that, but I actually do have a real job as well in construction business. So, so we use it with both. We so so it's a paid for account, and and it helps with with having that multiple person. Now, that's not to say that you can't technically use it mm -hmm. for free. You can still do six people for free, 
but it cuts off for you at 40 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, so there's limitations. If you're going to do a 30 minute show or a 15 minute show or a 20 minute show, you could get away with it. You could. Yeah. We'd have to end right, we'd have to end right now though. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome car galaxy studios just joined us and, and Richard's here as well. And, and Lowell Ann, um, it's and, nice to see you all here. We've been talking tonight with, um, Michael Daniels, who's like an expert in using tools like OBS with Zoom and and the Elgato Stream Deck, and and if you you missed what we've gone through, if you go replay, you'll get to see lots of cool examples. We show parts of of his um, game shows and and his and his weekly uh, other show, his tech talk show that he does, and you know we've been just talking about the ins and outs and you know who's it for and and and, and things of that nature, and and you know. What I want to know is like, how have you found yourself to evolve? Like I know, like when we talked about this, for me, I'm the least prepared for any of, of my sort of live streams, the way I like to over prepare with my questions and details and everything. <laughs> but because I know you wanted to do some freewheeling and stuff like that, I, I'm, I'm totally, totally cool with that. But you go live so often and you, you have so much else going on between work and all, all these other things. How has your, um, how did you evolve to this? Or have you always been super comfortable from the get-go going live, no matter what happens, what sort of comes into play? And I mean, how have you found your sort of um, confidence or did you, did you have any challenge? Were you always this like, I'm, I, I just love running the show and everything and it's just all cool, whatever comes out? That's a that's an awesome question. That's a really good question, about, especially about you know how comfortable was I and things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm I've I've always been the class clown at school, so I've always I have, and you know that about me. I mean, how many times do I? I think I kind of <laughs> I lighten you up a little bit there with okay, I'm gonna relax you a little bit. You know that kind because I because yeah. you know what? Here's the deal. Something if yeah. something's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong. It is. It just is. You just, you just roll with it. There's times you wouldn't even believe some of the stuff that I'm doing to get things fixed in the middle of the process. And that's frustrating to me. I'm upset about it. But at the same time, out there, they never see it. And this is what I learned. Here's what I learned the most, especially from okay. doing Hangouts, because Hangouts brought people in and things like that. When you have people out there, right. they, they're not expecting to watch a TV show, a live TV show. If they want to go watch a live TV show, you know what they're going to do? They're going to go watch a live TV show. Yeah. Hey. So that's so cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just going to interrupt you and say, hey, Michael, look more at the camera. You People oh, yeah, people sorry. don't know this. How many screens, how many monitors do you have in front of you right now? Four, Four. folks. So imagine, you know, not only is he using a stream deck and pressing all the buttons and, and managing everything that you saw before, but he's also looking at four monitors. That's, so that's true. You know, um, yeah. So. Like I've also noticed, you know, that a lot, like, I mean, a lot of your guests, some of them are, are, are regulars, you know, like Andrew and others, um, how, you know, I'm sure they've d developed over time, just getting more comfortable being on screen and having fun with it. And, and, and that's kind of cool to see too. Right. Yeah. I mean, I know yeah. like for me to do this kind of thing has taken a while for me to, you know, get the confidence and comfort to just sit here and tonight free wheel. And, and I'm not like going through a whole, you know, litany of questions, which I like to do to bring the value, but we're bringing awesome value because, you know, I know you have so much experience and it's easy to just throw a question. If I can keep quiet for a minute and let you talk, that is. <laughs> no, that's, that's good. That's, no, that's, you know, but yeah, that's, that's the fun. See right there. I mean, yeah. you don't get that in a live TV show. You go watch something on a live TV show. You don't get what we just did. Had a little yeah. joke, had a little fun. And that's even true. if you do, even if you do, the audience can be part of that too. Oh my God. You know, they'll add this comment and to, see, to me, that helps relax me. Yeah. That helps it's me because, because they, they're like, they don't care or they'll make fun. Yeah. I want them to make fun because I'm well, going to make you know fun. who's a master of that? Someone that just joined us. Professor Nez is in the house. Awesome. Welcome, I Professor Nez. And Michael is somebody you're going to want to have on the show for sure. And uh, you guys go. all have a gas. Professor Nez, mm -hmm. as uh, he, you know, he just knows how to have, have, have a lot of fun and, and, mm -hmm. you know, educate us all bring great great guests on and and he just you know he's just so passionate about the live experience and and it's just 
you know, really great to see, to watch people doing that. And I learn a lot from people like yourself and Professor Nez that, mm -hmm. that have this sort of just, you know, more freewheeling, easygoing nature to do this. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm slowly learning. Like for me, I'm going live for my second time in, uh, um, you know, four, three, four days, which is great. And, and I, and I'm enjoying it, uh, a lot. And, and so, you know, I wanted, um, so Professor Nez, um, <laughs> Is he's getting active in here? Yes, he says, "Nice to meet you." Uh, and let it be loose. Yes, and <laughs> let it loose. Let it be loose. <laughs> I got to be careful with my words here because you know yeah, there's right. there's uh, I'm an, an expert on communications here with us. <laughs> there you go. No, but you know what? That's interesting because I was just on a show past this past Saturday, a live show from a genealogy group, a genealogy group. And this is what they do. They have shows that they go over genealogy and they do all this kind of stuff uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then Saturday they have a game show. They got the idea from me doing a game show to loosen up some people, to bring people up on the camera that aren't comfortable with it. It's all fun. They're just guessing who is an old ancestry of one of the persons. I think I yeah. told you a little this ahead of time and that's how they loosen it up i think that's a wonderful way to get new people involved that aren't used to being on camera it gives them a chance to laugh have a little fun learn how oh my camera just died or i don't i can't get the mic to work or i can't do this or that kind of thing and i think that's what helps that's one thing that i do whenever i do my shows they'll be like is, is this going to be okay is this screen share okay i, say, I don't care if it is or not i'm yeah. more I'm I care about you and what you're giving the people and the content. And if it's out there, I can always screen share and show them something later or give them a link later of what this was supposed to look. Like. I don't care about that. Yeah. Whereas a TV production, it's totally different. You know, they're sitting there going like the news, five, four, three, yeah, yeah. Two, they're counting down just to, to get you there. Whereas this is not that pressure. You just go and you just, you just do it and you, and you're talking just like this. That's what's really cool. That's why a lot of people are good for radio. They yeah. love radio. They don't have to show their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and mean, there are a lot of people that are transitioning from radio into doing live stuff. And, you know, there's sure. people like um, our, our, I think our friend uh, Ross Brand, who's also mm -hmm. a good friend of Professor Nez's and others, um, you know, came from broadcast background. And, you know, they I think they get a leg up. Um, you know, being able to come in in terms of the comfort zone and express and communicate and flow. But um, I think it gives people an amazing opportunity to do that. Can you tell us, Michael, what are some other ideas or things that you have in mind that you are wanting to explore? Like you mentioned Twitch, like what are some of the things you're wanting to, to try now or some of the new tech? Because I mean, I know you've been doing the Zoom stuff and, you know, I was mentioning to you beforehand that there are things like Discord and there's video in there and there's other sources, Skype and, you know, some of them do stuff that make it a little more sophisticated than with Zoom because Zoom doesn't mess up the the um the um the the grid display that much for you so that you can you know do what we're doing here right now which is based on one of those displays right yeah do you and here's the easiest way i can answer that for you do you remember when aim came out aol instant messenger that was the big thing yeah. and then everything else kind of followed mm -hmm. then you had this and then but things go away yeah things go away and things change you know hangouts were real popular skype was real popular all these things were real popular and all these kind of things but things change and things get better people improve on them they change them they make them better so i think it's important so yes i i definitely want to explore everything i can like you said you know with with the different program and i'm really interested in twitch because it's it's a right now it's a it's a gaming world but there's mm -hmm. a whole section too like artists and people that do yes. like what you do with Camtasia you yeah. could go on just do a, I, a I, ha I haven't done any Camtasia tutorials on on well I haven't used Twitch yet but my buddy Dale has already been doing some some tutorials of that showing people how he edits his his shows and I and and you know he, people are very curious and I think it's a great idea I just haven't figured out yet what my approach is is going to be to do that because when he comes on he's mm -hmm. editing the same thing every time well not the same thing but something that not you know he has a few yeah. similar things each thing i'm going to do to create is a totally different creation and mm -hmm. it's not something you know some of them are not the kind of thing 
that I would just randomly go out and, you know, sitting there scratching my head while I'm trying to think of creatively what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people want to say that. You know what I mean? Like, how do I experiment with an idea, right? You'd be surprised at people. Yes, actually, when you're going through that kind of stuff, absolutely. That there's, you know, I look back at Periscope. Periscope got really popular for a little bit. I don't hear much about it now. So there's so many things and it's changing all the time. So yeah. I think you got to, I think you got to tip your toes in all these things and try these different things. Yeah. I mean, podcasts are still really popular. You know why podcasts are popular? Because people can go jogging and listen to it, or they can go here and just listen to it. So I think tying those two things in, you oh, know, yeah. some people have a podcast and a live stream at the same time. Yes. Like I just had uh, uh, Todd, Todd yeah. live on, on Friday and, you know, not only, you know, he try casts, and he repurposes. I think that there's so much power in the repurpose opportunity as well. And when I was on um, a, a week ago, um, Monday, on Dusty mm-hmm. Porter's show, he has yeah, like a right. whole, he does a pre-show, then he f- does the podcast, and then he did a post-show with chat. And and, and it was very interesting. I, I, I really like the dynamic. So you're, you're trying, like you're almost getting like a little behind the scenes, loosen up chat before you go live with something more structured that's being pushed out through the podcast venue. And then, yep. you know, and, but it's also all being live streamed. So you're like, you know, doing multiple deliveries uh, all at the same time. And I think that's very powerful, but I that hasn't connected with me yet to understand how important that is to being able to multiply your reach and grow your audience. And, and right. the only challenge I find, you know, which, you know, I guess it's not that big a problem yet in the game show because you have a structured way in which you get the people to participate by letting them to guess and participate in the, in the word show. Right. But, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. but I mean, when you're doing more like a podcast style thing, right. you know, right. unless you're doing a pregame post game thing, you know, where you're getting the people, yeah. Hey, do you have any questions to ask for Michael? Please put them in That's the chat, right. by the way, right. anybody, I, there's a perfect opportunity. <laughs> I didn't say anything. And, 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 and if, and I'm, and I'm curious if anybody out there is using Twitch, tell us if, and as, as another platform, tell us if you, if you like it and, and uh, your plans, I've seen some people mention or refer to it. I just, I just think so importantly now, and I think it's proof if you go over, I mean, if you, it's just human nature Mm -hmm. they say a picture's worth a thousand words i think they're right and video even emphasizes that even more if you go on facebook stream now yeah you don't you won't go through you won't go past 10 threads in a facebook without being a video or a picture you Mm -hmm. won't oh there's not just text there's not just everything in Twitter, yeah. same thing now. I mean, it's just that they're adding, they've had to add that Instagram. They've designed things like Snapchat and Instagram to be just pictures, you know, yeah. and, or videos and things like that. So that's why I think it's so important over podcast to me. And like you said, the reach, if I, it's, there's a human element. If I have you right here, mm-hmm. there's something about that. If I watch, but there's also that intrigue too. It's like it's like watching a movie or reading a book. People mm-hmm. always argue which is better, the movie or the book. They're mm-hmm. always going to get that because you have to open your mind and imagine what the, all those characters look like in a book. A yeah. movie art gives you that. It already gives you everything. Yeah. But you have all these explosions and you have these things and you have so all that part of it. it it's sh- it's touching on different emotions and feelings that you have inside the human yes. body yeah so it's reactions are different i I, so I, I really um there's a few interesting comments here i want to share bring um, them on. um um uh, let me just i'm stepping back here a bit um mm-hmm. does anyone remember community access cable tv scott scott mentioned that's similar to what's going on nowadays yes i, I am and i i think in other ways they're trying to bring that community access tv in different networks now through the web as well so it's mm-hmm. very interesting like they're there are you know almost like replicating some of those things but taking them to another level and the ability to be seen is not just limited to the community it can go out out anywhere and we have the ability to not be constrained 
to get access to to, to do that as creators. That's the even more yeah. mind blowing thing, right? Absolutely. You know, like you know, you know, you can submit to have your podcast go on and it be an Alexa skill, and you know, mm -hmm. like you know, next week you can sit there. Uh, what do they call it? Flash briefs. Um, I don't I, 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 you, 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 yeah. something like that, and you can just tell it to go play your podcasts, and mm -hmm. you know. It's amazing, you know, like you said, podcasts are, 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 are growing because of, you know, how, how easy it is to access that audio content. And uh, I, I digressed there, but I wanted to mention a few other uh, com comments here. There was one no, yeah, luxury, lu luxury card store says Adobe often goes live on Twitch featuring different digital artists. See, I've seen they do like profiles and show their awesome creativity in that. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think there's so much to explore with the with the creative side and you know people like pam duthy who was on earlier but but she's since gone because it's really late in the uk where she is she right, does yeah. ne needle felting and does really cool creative stuff and has all kinds of videos like i mean i guess there's something to be said to be actually you know experiencing the deeper uh, details of of um doing the actual creative work you know where I, as i said here and say well maybe someone doesn't want to sit me sits sit seeing me there scratch my head as i come up with some cool animation that and, <laughs> you know but maybe they do want to see the thought process i went through to put that together or where i went to find the assets and how i trimmed it and what i did to package it you know but um i think experimentation is such a, an important part of this and to learn what the people respond to and enjoy and i'm sitting here right now i can act like i have the answers and say i don't think they're going to be interested in that and i'm re in reality is i don't really know exactly and you know and, and the thing is is you know this about being a creative person i'm sure creativity some people are very creative and other people are not so creative i'm not saying that they're not creative because right. they are in one way or another for whatever they do or whatever they have so it's 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 applying the the whatever their skill is to those creativities that that becomes important and, and like you said I love what you said the the thought process you know making that thought process sometimes people want to know oh how did he come about that I mean it's cool I think it's neat that he does it and he shows me how he does it mm -hmm. what made you think of that you know it's, I did this one thing one time with uh, it wasn't Camtasia like you but it was with another program Pinnacle right. Student. Yeah, and I had this wine glass. It was is for Heather, and all of her contestants were a bubble that came up out of that wine glass, nice. and, and just flowed right out and up out of it. And and they said, "How did you?" Oh, you know, I was just thinking. Well, it's wine bubble. She has bubbles there and yeah. champagne. It'd be cool if the pictures actually turned into came in those bubbles and stuff. So it was really kind of you know so so people want to know that part of it, not just see the end result. Oh, that's really cool. But how did you come up? How did you think of that? What made you? bring that up i think yeah. that's yeah and i think and, and and so when i create my videos i don't often talk about that because i think people are just interested in in too much not too much mostly in the how because they're looking for something cool to do in the case of the kind of tutorials i i bring so i think mostly okay i gotta set it up tell them what i'm gonna do and what i'm what, what i'm gonna create and and the end product that they're gonna get and then they're gonna mm -hmm. have a feel and sometimes i provide a template that they can download so that now they have something to take away and go to do the how to that's but yeah, that's i've already thought about that whole no, solution no, choreographed no, it and no. and they're not getting the actual experience that I went through as a creator yeah. to solve yeah. the problems to, do, that's where something to make like, the creation. That's where I think Twitch. something like Twitch yeah. for you would be really good because you could actually, all you have to do, I swear, you just have to say, I'm creating a video, come watch. And, it, and you just sit there and do it. And just kind of every once in a while go to the mic, say, here's why I'm doing this. Here's yeah. what I think to do next here's oh look how cool this is and when they see that and see you coming up with it like, oh my god and then maybe even give a comment say well what about if you did this or have you thought about this or, or, or how about even just going on and and letting it be you know <laughs> this sounds crazy <laughs> let people make suggestions from the audience within a certain reasonable set of things and you try to Yes. Make a creation Adapt, on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. After you know. manipulator. Yeah. Just 
I think that's a great well, that, that that would be a, a highly You're stressful situation, but in, interesting nonetheless, right? Talking about interactive, yeah, yeah. Interactive. Because I mean, oftentimes I sit and go, okay, you know, I want to make this kind of special effect or something, and I don't yep. really know how to solve it. So I start playing, and then when I start playing, I may come across something really cool and interesting, and just just discover it and and uh, and and learn from that. You know what I mean? Out of the blue, and I and I yep. and I didn't I didn't know what I was expecting. When, when I was going through that process, you know, of, of creation. And, and so, you know, I, I just think there's so much more to come that, that hasn't been played with. And, and I think Twitch is more of a receptive platform for that kind of thing because people are so into like the, the search engine and YouTube and the, you know, how to get found in search and doing everything there. And every, there's right. so much al, uh, analytics and details that that we're we're trying to train ourselves as robots to solve what mm -hmm. what what we need to do there to maximize our success i'm gonna reel us back in a little bit i'm gonna pull us back into sure. the topic back into the topic again with twitch we we have the ability to use obs to do that to live stream so you still have the same tools even though we started this conversation off with youtube obs and zoom we still have those same abilities to do obs and zoom whether it's with Twitch, whether it's with whatever live streaming, whatever that is, that's what's really cool and that's what's really neat is then that's what we kind of want to give out there to yeah. everybody. Hey, look, let us help you out with that. If, if that's what you need or whatever, reach out to one of us. I'm glad to help, you know, those kind of things. Yeah. That's yeah. what I wanted to bring us back into the OBS Zoom part because we could sit well, here and go. I, 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 <laughs> I honestly can say I have called you in, in a few panic situations. And, and, you know, you've always been receptive and tried to help me if you were available. And so, you know, I'm greatly, um, you know, appreciative of that. And, um, you know, um, so are there, are there any, um, I think I asked you this earlier, what kind of like new exploratory things or tech that uh, you want to bring in that you haven't tinkered with? Uh, like, are you looking for any kinds of an enhancements to the to the to the game show or there are some dimensions that you haven't explored yet that either push your 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 obs usage or stream deck something like that that's interesting that you say that because th there are some things i know we we really touch maybe i don't even know if we mentioned it this time but there's other things out there like vmix mm -hmm. vmix is very interesting and a, and a cool concept and i just haven't done that because they don't work with stream deck but vmix is really cool one of the cool things is you don't need restream to do it but you can broadcast to facebook and youtube at the same time really cool mm -hmm. it does it. the software does it the other thing is you can and i've been looking for a ton of things for this i know they have for the mac now but they don't have it for pc yet right I don't remember what it is. It might be Ecamm, the one you were talking about earlier. But anyway, you can bring comments in from Facebook, individual comments from Facebook and YouTube during your live stream as well with VMAX. So I'm very intrigued and interested in that kind of thing. So that's kind of where I'd like to explore. But I, since I have the Stream Deck and I'm so used to it, I want VMAX to be compatible with it. So I'm waiting for that to happen whether it's on the vmix side or whether it's on the stream deck side i'm waiting for that to happen as far as exploring things when i look at a game show i look at a game show on tv a lot differently now if i watch something mm -hmm. i was like how can i do that how can i bring that oh, in oh yeah what can, I do? what can i do to make this game show and i'm th i'm actually thinking about doing more than just the plus word the plus word has just been there for three years and it's been established and it's really easy because i just have to come up with words i've had people tell me hey look you should do you know what's that real popular show that oh my gosh where the where the audience like the top 10 answers to this and all this kind of stuff and i'm like i, I you have to get so much data for that it's so much work right right that stuff where this all i need is a word we actually did, hey, you know, you said this early, you know, you said about the audience giving the answers. We actually did yeah. this one time, we did what we call the drawing game. Oh, nice. Heather drew a drawing, and she was for the girls, and I drew for the guys. And we would just take turns. So I'd sit there and draw, and there was a certain timer, and the audience got to guess what I was drawing. Yes, yeah, so this is very interesting. Really cool. I don't know what the game was called, but um, Dale Roberts, who was on earlier, 
and his brother they hosted his brother hosted some kind of game that was tied to drawing and trying to guess the saying and mm -hmm. people do different drawings and you all get scored and it was just a total hoot and they sat mm -hmm. and played for hours and and um so we have some uh, some other questions here um i'm gonna keep tapping my my uh, pop yeah, so sorry hard. about that yeah so st the stream deck so some people want to know how, how much does the stream deck cost yeah, oh, there Andrew, so there andrew's mentioned it, yeah, 149 that's yeah right. family feud is the one i was talking about too richard you're right family feud and that's one that's really difficult because you got to get the top 10 answers you have to you have to have so much data behind it i was like no i'm not doing all that. <laughs> so that so that's what's difficult it was a lot easier to do something like um hollywood squares and now i could do that because i could have nine contestants plus oh the two God. participants and, and and myself as the host i could have all that set up that would be really cool to do that that would be really neat to try and do something it, like it's that. almost like your next challenge is to see how much you can juggle yeah. Right. Yeah, and then it'll yeah. eventually be, oh my God, I need the stream deck that can double, <laughs> double the amount of buttons on the screen. Right. I mean, I, 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 how many buttons are there? 15 on it? Yeah. 15. But what's cool about it? What's yeah. cool about the 15? Yeah. You, you could can nest. Get, yeah. You nest. So it's, in, it's can, indefinite in a way. 15 to the. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Yep. I mean, really more cool. than you'll yeah. ever need. It's That's all right. a matter of how you design it. Right. Right. Yeah, well, That's I mean, right. I've seen a lot of people that are using the Stream Deck uh, extensively. And what about um, from a camera standpoint, have you explored um, wanting to do something like a DSLR or capture card on top of this? And I know you're using something like Voice Meter to um, support. That's a software based thing for audio, right? Um, it is. So how, how are you using that with your OBS and Zoom and with your solution? That's a good question. So let me uh, let me just pull up on the screen so you can kind of see. Um, I will show you my voice meter. Let me share that because that way it lets you know that I'll be sharing. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is voice meter. So what okay, I do wait here. Wait a sec. I, I need to go to. There we go. Yeah, no okay. Nope. Okay, uh, okay. So what voice meter does, I can bring in my microphone. What This is doing what. Okay. What, what did can you, you zoom into that? that, Michael? Is that possible? I don't know that I can zoom any more into that. I think that's as far as I can go. It, yeah, okay. this is this. I think, yeah, it won't go any bigger, unfortunately. Okay. But anyway, and you don't need, I don't need to get into great detail, but like this is my microphone. So you can see whenever I'm talking, this is how that comes in. Right. And then when you speak over here, that meter shows. Right. So I can bring in like desktop sounds. I can bring in other sounds. I can bring in other things. Like this is another microphone. If I had my wireless mic, that's it. Right. There's an I can have a, a couple headsets. Like these are my headsets, A1, 2, and 3. So if I had three people sitting here, I could bring all that. It's the same thing, like you said, about a mixer, a hardware right. mixer, and bringing that sound in USB-wise. This is the same thing, but it all does it here. I All my sound is controlled right here. So I can, I can make Zoom. Like I can, like I've even named it right here is Zoom. This is right. my Zoom sound, and I've actually named that. So that's right, how I bring I that. Any, anything from Windows, that's my sounds from Windows. Gotcha. I can turn those off, turn them on. I can do all of that kind of stuff. It's it's yeah, it's, that's a lot of fun. And and I, you know I don't want to sit there and go into sure. tons of detail no. I'm just that. saying you use other tools and that, and and yeah. and I'm saying yeah. you know this is um, something that we talked about earlier. Not everyone has the degree of tech savvy and knowledge and interest to explore so you know like obs is not is not for everybody and mm, integrating right. it with zoom and all of these things that we're doing but i mean it, it it does create great opportunity for people to you know explore things creatively at another level to produce and that's yeah. what what i've liked so much about it and um you know i i just think it's really cool um, what is I am absolutely. I have to say, yeah. I am absolutely fascinated with you, uh -huh. and here and here's why. Right. You use one monitor. Yeah, I do. I, I use four. <laughs> right. I don't know that I could do what you do, and you do a great job with your shows. I don't know that I could do it because I'm. I have to figure out in my head, how is he getting this to come up or how is he getting this to do this? I really have to think it through because most people aren't like me. Most people don't have four monitors. Yeah, yeah. Most 
people are lucky if they have two, maybe, you know? So, so I have to rethink things too when I'm walking through steps and stuff like that. So, you know, there's times when I have to reach out to you, Hey Gord, how do you do this? Somebody was asking me this, you know, that mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell us, Michael, um, what's next for you with your, with your channels and your, and your focus? Like I, I know you do, you do two live shows a week and then sometimes you do an extra, uh, you do individual videos as well, for like tech tech stuff related to, to what your interests are, and, and you're very active in the Google community. So mm-hmm. I mean, like, I don't even know where you find more time. When I say what's up <laughs> next, like, I guess share share with us what you can and where where everyone can find you, and, okay, and what's great. up. That's perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I I for me, I just want my, my whole philosophy, my whole thing, and. It started about three or four years ago with, with the hangouts and stuff like that, meeting a lot of the people. I just wanted to help people. You know, Google, Google makes things. Anybody that works with a Google product, it's made by engineers. It's not always used by people before they, you know, those engineers. So it's all that kind of stuff. So it can be tough. It can be a tough thing. So Andrew and I started a community a long time ago over on Google+. Plus. It's called User to User. It's just users helping users. If you're an mm-hmm. expert in this, like if, if, if you're an expert in Camtasia, you can come in and talk to the group and say, hey, look, because this guy's got a Camtasia question. Or if you're good at whatever it is, Evernote, or if you're good at Google Keep, or if you're good at, you know, Google whatever, Drive, and, you know, that kind of thing. It's all just users helping users. And that's what the whole premise and my idea is helping. So whatever I can do to do that. So we're structuring our, our H&M show. We're doing a change Wednesday. You can come out for the announcement on that. We're going to. And I don't mean structure it like changing it. It's just gonna we're gonna have it like a different name, more searchable, that kind of thing, and try and find it to where it's dealing with tech, um, just tech and helping people, just helping people. That's the biggest thing. Building a community that way. It, mm-hmm. We do have a paid for community that's tied to that, which the the they get workshops where we actually do workshops like OBS and things like that. So that's that's kind of fun. So here's they a get- perfect example. Uh, sorry to interrupt Michael. I'm like yeah. trying to juggle a little bit of our our chat. Uh good. Good. Uh, and um the funny thing was uh, there's two Dugs in our in our chat right now and I okay. answered the question for one Doug to the other Doug <laughs> while I'm trying to listen to what you're saying to me and, and digest that too. So we had a good, laugh. we all had a good laugh to, out, out of that. So, I mean, it, it was good. It was cool. Good. That's what, let me, I'm going to do a screen share. Cause I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm a, I'm a Google top contributor. First of all, I'm a Google top contributor. I also mm-hmm. in Allo and duo uh, where I'm a top contributor. What that means is I go in their forums and help them out answering a lot of questions and that kind of stuff. I love to help people. So that's why I do that. I do that absolutely for free. So I'm, but they've made me a top contributor in those particular products. Yeah. So I'm a Google geek. I'm a Google guy. I'm on Google yeah. plus all the time. If you want to reach me or you want to reach out to me and find me, I'm going to screen share right now. Yeah. And I can, I, I can attest for everyone that um, Michael has, you know, taught me so much and convinced me to go hardcore on the Google ecosystem, Google ecosystem. <laughs> and I'm now using Allo, Keep, you know, Calendar, drive. other stuff at another level, drive. and Drive. And yeah. I, I, I just love it. it it's just <laughs> and 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 in the way I serve clients, and and just it's just it's just great. It's it simplifies yeah. things to to stay under I- an ecosystem. And like that so i mean i appreciate yeah. all that help and and you know you like bet. like you you mentioned people can come to your 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 show um yeah. that's that one's on wednesday nights the tech talk right correct correct yes yes and, and, and learn you- learn a lot because you bring in all kinds of other great guests yeah. with that that are there and yep. um you know Okay, so thank, if you go to, thank, thanks for sharing well, that, Michael. That's okay. all right. Plus, okay. plus.google.com and yeah. then plus Michael Daniels. That's how you get it. That's yeah. if you and, I, and I have that link, that information in our show, in our in our uh, video description as well. Awesome. So everyone should know awesome. it's all there to go out. But here's another gently. thing. Yep. Here's another thing, real quick. If you hit the about section, see, I'm doing this in an incognito window, so it's not me. But if you hit the about section, it pulls me up. If you want to reach out to me, I'm on Hangouts all the time. I'm a Hangout top contributor. So you can click there and just reach out and say you want to chat to Michael. That's it. It'll open up Hangouts for you. You'd have to sign in with your Google account, and boom, you can send me a message. So you can send me a personal 
message that way. So there you go. I'll stop screen sharing, but okay. There we That's go. We're back. Okay, awesome. So, Michael, you know, thank you for being a wonderful guest, and and you know, just to let everybody know, we're probably going to be doing some more very interesting stuff, starting to take deep dives. There's been a lot of deep dive tutorials out there, and we're going to probably look at things and do some creative stuff our way to share with you, and maybe produce some educational material. And you know, I wanted to for us to f first introduce Michael and and get for you to see some of the awesome creative stuff that that he's been doing and and developing his skills on and uh it was a pleasure uh michael and uh we'll see you again soon and thank you everybody for participating in chat and in the community i greatly appreciate you all and it was a pleasure to be able to share with you this evening have, have a good night thank you very much for having me you're welcome cheers <laughs>